but I just want to give an update on the channel, um, what I've been up to. Um, I've actually put my uh, website, Cardboard Futures, I've put it down for maintenance. Um, I don't know if, how much more I'll continue with that. Um, I've been having more fun opening the boxes for myself and then building lots, putting them on eBay, saving stuff for PSA, selling stuff, mainly on eBay. Um, sucks with the fees, but... I should be top top rated plus at January 20th, so that'll help me a little bit, 20% off or something. So this is just some mail. I'm going to do a uh, mail day. Um, probably about, I'm going to take with my iPad, but 15, 20 packages or so. Pretty backed up batch here. But uh, we're going to start with this one. And this will probably be all football, and I'm guessing a lot of Beckham Jr. Um, I started the PC of him. Just uh, love the way the kid plays. Passionate, cares. You can tell he cares, and he's uh, immensely talented, which is another bonus. Hopefully, he can keep it up next year. We don't have the sophomore slump. I don't think he'll have it. That's nasty. That's black. I'm putting together the uh, rainbow of him. Top scrum black. These are beautiful cards. Two ninety nine. This is a tough pull. So start off with that. There's probably gonna be a lot of him in this. Order. It's been a while since I did a uh, mail day. Thank you for the fast payment. Okay. More Top Scrum. That's a, a Reggie Bush Top Scrum Gold. Really cool card. Love the gold. I, th I think I've opened about, I don't know, 40 or 50 boxes this year. And I've hit two, two golds, I think. Two or three. So that just shows you how tough those are. They are tough pulls. And when you can get a quality bush card like that for like 10 bucks. I'm all over that. See, I don't have a problem with him shipping it even in a card saver too. Because to be top rated, you've got to have 90% of your transactions uploaded with tracking within one business day. So that's kind of, you, you, you kind of choose to go after that or not. Um, for the longest time I shipped in plain white envelopes. I, don't, I, I had people complain, but I, you know, I, I told them as long as the card gets there. Now this card, it's like out of the soft sleeve. The case is all dirty, but Teddy Bridgewater Orange Refractor, and this is retail exclusive, so you can't get these in hobby boxes. So I'm putting together his rainbow too. It's nice to add that one. That might be an all top scrum all day. Who knows, right? Oh, this is nasty. That is nasty. I don't know what, what's up with that. I'm not going to worry about it. That's Teddy Bridgewater, and that's the refractor version. It's a uh, variation photo. It's got the, the different pose, and it's on card. And it's out of 75, so it's pretty much it's got everything going for it. That's nasty. I think that was $100 or so. I'm going to send that to PSM. Packaging a huge order going out probably later this month. Got tons of stuff from my breaks that I set aside. And as you can see, I started a PC of him, Teddy Bridgewater. This is a quad. It's a uh, level 5 from Topps Prime, which is a really good product in my opinion this year, especially from a uh, price point level. And they look pretty easy to grain. Um, I don't see too much white that would hinder its progress, but that's a nice teddy. Well, it's a sticker, but it's tough to get everything on card. I don't want to be an on card snob. It's interesting. Cool, Alex Smith, Top Scrum Gold, 14 out of 50. Yeah, I thought about putting together a uh, like a set of golds or blues or something, but I just thought about all the money you'd have to spend on players you don't really collect. You just you you just be siphoning out money right and left just to have all the cards in the set. I just don't think it's worth it for me. I know some people like that. That's cool. I've been collecting Vic since 2001, and I've never owned this one. This is the Black Refractor. This this set came out in 2001. They didn't have like 
15 different colors for every player, you know, I think they had the refractor to 999, and then this one is to 100, I believe, yeah, 43 of 100, classic set, an awesome card, he's, him and uh, Breeze are my two main PCs, so, that's a cool Vic to add, um, probably send it in to get graded, yeah, definitely will, try at least, I don't know how, how well I'll do. There's the, there's the breeze blue. Love love top scrum this year. I, I think this is the the best they've done with the set. They're definitely going out with the bang. They're putting a ton of product out there. That's just more for everybody to break. I mean, it's not like boxes are still seventy bucks, seventy five bucks. You can get them for like forty, forty five. That's that's not bad at all for all the cards you get in the box. That's, a, that's an Aldo Beckham Jr. SP Authentic. Um, I've been trying to get a uh, case of this, but it's really hard to get upper deck products. Um, I don't know why. People just don't really offer them, and the price on them is just through the roof. I just don't think it's worth it, even though I love SP Authentic and upper deck. That's a nice Beckham. That's the uh, Actually, that's the design from 2000 SP Authentic. They brought it back. Love that. That's that's the uh, Tom Brady. I just wanted to throw that in there. Got a couple of Saints pulsars. Pulsars are out of 271 out of Bowman Chrome. I don't know why they picked that number. Some of those tops just throws out weird, uneven serial numbers, but doesn't bother me. Brandon Cooks and Breeze pulsars. Nice cards. Probably won't grade those. Just just put them in the Saints PC. Oh, that's nasty. Auto Beckham Jr. Now, I, I bought some of these. Some of these packages have been sitting around for two weeks or so just because I've been so busy with breaks at, at night. But this one is uh, out of uh, 199. This is the blue version. I bought some of these when, but before they spiked up. They, they spiked up a couple times now, but this is the blue one. And one problem I want to point out with the Topps Chrome and Tops from this year is I think the centering might be an issue for grading. If you look closely, this side looks a little fatter than this side. I know it's real tough to see but this side's got a little more maybe like 60 40 or 55 45 so um anybody sending in top scrum from this year just be uh, mindful of that and I'm, I'm not i haven't seen a lot of cards come back beckett or psa but I'm, I'm guessing just by looking at the way the cards set up and the uh, border that it's going to be tough to get nine five or ten perfect centering for top scrum this year last year it wasn't tough for 2012 it wasn't tough but i think it's a little different this year but I'll see when I send a bunch of cards in. I don't know how strict they'll be with that. This is a cool card. SP Authentic. Beckham Jr. This is Canvas. Love these Canvas collection. They're not worth a whole lot. I think this was like three bucks or something. But I just like the the way it's uh it looks like a canvas. It's uh got like the little dots on it. I think that's cool. I, th I think it'd be cool if they did a uh, parallel of these to like twenty five or ten or something. Put like a red background or something. I don't know. So this is going to be a, a longer video. I'm just going through a ton of mail. Um, if you're not in, into that and you want to watch the box breaks, skip on to those. This is a, another Topps Chrome Blue Refractor Drew, Drew Breeze to $1.99. Beautiful card. Just slide this one out. So we're actually putting together some parts of the Beckham Jr. Topps Chrome Rainbow. And here's another part. This is the pink. This is out of $3.99. Centered on this one looks good. Looks a little better than the last one. We're actually going through this whole thing. I'm going to be just over 10 minutes. Oh, that's cool. That is Bowman Chrome Beckham Jr. Black. I actually pulled the uh, gold auto and the base out of this stuff, so I've been really fortunate with Bowman Chrome. And I'm a huge fan of it. This is out of $2.99. This is the black one. Um, this photo, I'm not. It's not the the coolest photo, um, but it's still an awesome card. This is 
kind of a cool way to ship cards. I've, I've, I've bought from people that do this before too. It seems very well protected. It's kind of in this little pouch. That's cool. This is such a cool card. 2001 Topps debut. Um, on card, which is pretty rare to have. I think this set came out in like July of 2001. So to have an on card product like this that early is really cool. And it's numbered too, to $4.99. So this is probably one of my favorite sets of all time, even though it's not really talked about much at all. Um, this is the last one. This might be something good because it's in one of these flat rate boxes. This is a, a nice way to ship an expensive card out, and we'll see what's in. Packing peanuts. <clears throat> And now it's getting kind of dull. Had this for about a year and a half now. It's been through many breaks. There we go. And we're in. Oh, this is a cool, cool uh, set. Or auto set out of 2014 Prestige. Um, it's sticker, but first impressions, they actually had them not photoshopped in their NFL jerseys. I think these are actual photos, and this was out of 25. I, think I, I hit the buy it now at like 49 on this, which I thought was pretty decent for a card uh, numbered that low of a potential franchise quarterback. It's probably too early to tell on that, but that's it for this one all day. Um, I kind of went a little slower with the cards. I wanted to talk about the cards a little bit. Um, and I mentioned the my uh, website. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I have to pay $30 per month to keep it up, so I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't had it up for a week or so. Um, I'm probably not going to get back on breakers anytime soon and break boxes. Um, I just I'm having a lot more fun with, with, with what I'm doing now. I still can talk about the hobby and stuff and uh, show cards and talk. So um, let me know on the video. And also, I'll, I'll be doing another free hobby box raffle here. I'm not exactly sure when, but I'm up to like 288 subscribers. So once I get a little higher, I'll talk about it. And Jags Faithful 84, let me know what you, what you get in that Valor box, baby. All right, man, later.